Good morning. Welcome to Living in Two Worlds. Well, today we're at about six months since we started our home. So I thought we would give you a tour of the house and an update as to where we're at. So come along with us and take a look. It is Friday afternoon, February 12th. Just a little update as to what we've been working on this week. I'm in the basement and if you look along the top here, you will see where we have sprayed that with an insulating foam. This is to give it a, is to seal it. Um, either you do it this way and put in insulation or you put in insulation and then you must put vapor barrier sealed in each one of these spaces. We chose to do it this way as it is the easier way to do it. Mind you, spraying the foam was no easy task, an ugly job, but got through it. So as you can see in the bedroom here, these are done. Then once that's done, which I'm working on right now, we then need to put the insulation in each one of these spaces. So once that's done, our insulating, for the most part, should be complete. But if you look back here in our mechanical room, you can see where the spring of the insulation was substantially more challenging with all of the, especially the wires above the panel, everything in coming in from above, but got it all done. Had to disconnect a couple of pipes off the HRV so I could get in behind there. Did that, put it back together again this morning. So now I will work on continuing to put the insulation in each one of those cavities. Then we should be pretty much done down here. The other thing done down here is we got the tub completely set and leveled, screwed in, and I uh, filled in where we're gonna do the ceiling from the beam back to the tub has been completed. So this room here is ready now as well. So moving along, while I've been doing this, noon has been upstairs, finishing off around all of the windows and doors. So I look at one of these back here and really what we've done or what she has done is to spray the foam in around the window itself. We will build the window out with jam extensions to the face of the drywall and then put insulation in that space. On these ones here around the doors, she has put in the foam and topped it off with insulation and then tape on the inside. Our casing will hide the tape. So we're getting there. The house is getting sealed up everywhere and it's getting warmer. Got the heaters going now and got the coat off and enjoying it. So we'll leave that with you. See the front door's been done. She's completed around the back door. So. We'll leave that with you and we'll update you in a couple of days.
close in the ceiling in this bedroom. I thought maybe I would take a moment to uh, explain to you what this ungodly mess is here on these pipes. Uh, these are the vent pipes for our air exchanger and our furnace. Uh, solid pipes, plastic pipes, which extrude outside the wall. Early in the week when it was very cold, we noticed that there was frost building up around the plastic on the ends of those pipes where they go out the wall and moisture dripping off of those pipes down here onto the floor. And quite a bit of moisture actually. So after a few phone calls and a bit of research, discovered what we needed was some insulation on there. I thought about phoning the heating guy and get him to bring me some insulation to put on those pipes, but because they're so tight together, I don't think I could have fit it on very well. So I come up with this brilliant idea that I had some extra foam left over from spraying in the joy spaces. No idea what to do with it, not much left, so we... I put up a bit of plastic and we sprayed around these pipes. Like I say, it's fairly unsightly, but it will all get enclosed in. And checking there just now, it is very warm around the opening. There's no ice, no frost, no moisture. Um, we're back at least six feet, more like about seven feet, which is kind of cold says you should be back at least six feet and I can see why it's done the job and it works even though it's ugly so we'll close it up now the other thing we had done recently is we had the attic all blown in with insulation I'm not going to climb up there to show it to you but you can see here where above our shower where it's been done we have as I mentioned earlier, an R22 in the walls. The loose insulation in the attic is at an R60, as being heat rises and where you lose most of your heat. So that has helped us keep the house much warmer. We're running two small heaters when we're here, one downstairs and one upstairs, and we're bringing the house up to temperature. As you can see, we are now up to a balmy 11 degrees. We're getting there. Uh, we don't need to heat it too much this week, but next week when they start the mudding and taping on this floor, we will probably have to run the heaters round the clock to keep it up to temperature so that things dry properly. It is Friday afternoon, February 19th. Quick update as to where we're at and to wrap up this video. Uh, I think we mentioned earlier, but the uh, Ceiling has been drywalled in the garage along with the adjoining wall of the house. I think at some point we will drywall the remainder of the garage, but that will be an after move in project. Uh, nice door handle, got rid of the little piece of string we used before. Not much has changed here on the main floor, boarded. Uh, they will be starting to mud and tape on Monday. They will be uh, drywalling the basement on the weekend and then starting to mud and tape this whole floor on Monday. They expect this will take them a week. Here we now have some cement board which we will use in the steam shower so that we're able to tile the whole thing. This is probably the only change to the main floor. We've uh, built the half wall here by the, for the steam shower. And we've also built our little bench to sit on as well. So here again, this here, we need to now sort out uh, what we're going to do for fixtures so that we can get the pieces installed behind the walls. And then what we need for a floor pan before we can put the cement board on the walls. So this is moving ahead, but a little slow at this point in time, but not a concern to us because it doesn't really hold anything up. So now we will uh, check out where we're at in the basement. We have completed all we can at this point in time. The drywallers will be coming tomorrow, Saturday, and their intent is to board the basement in its entirety. Here we have the 4x8 sheets for the ceiling, 
and the 54 inch 10s and 12s for all the walls. We've done all the work we can down here. As I mentioned before, all of the walls are insulated, vapor barriered. Uh, you saw in the video where we strapped the ceilings. That's all done. Uh, back in this bedroom, we've uh, boxed in for the ducts and the pipe, uh, covered over our our nice uh, popcorn mess on that one pipe. Um, I've been checking it regularly. It's doing the job perfectly. We have no more frost or ice issues there. Under the stairs will not get drywalled. Uh, bathroom here, ready to go. This wall is ready. The ceiling's been dropped on this side. The tub is now secured in place. Um, in our mechanical room, we will be drywalling the walls, but we will, we're going to leave the ceiling open as it is somewhat of a nightmare to try to drywall. So that's where we're at. This is where things stand as of Friday, February 19th. So if you like the video, please give us a like. We welcome any comments, whether they're with regards to the video or the construction, or if you have any questions regarding construction, please don't hesitate to ask. And once again, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, see, watching the number of subscribers grow is one of the things that keeps me motivated for making videos. So with that being said, we'll leave it there and we'll catch you on the next video.